There are many reasons to consider the use of hydrogen as an alternative fuel. One of the primary advantages to using hydrogen vehicles is that they produce relatively no local emissions and can use either internal combustion engines or fuel cells for vehicle propulsion. Hydrogen is also domestically produced from water, natural gas, and other renewable sources. While hydrogen may not exist naturally in pure gaseous form, it is the most abundant element in the world. Hydrogen is the simplest element, consisting only of one proton and one electron. It is number one on the periodic table of elements. It naturally occurs in gaseous form as a diatomic element, meaning it exists as bonded pairs. For this reason, hydrogen is often represented with the chemical formula of H2. It is colorless, odorless, and when burning, has a nearly invisible flame that can only be seen when impurities are present. The most common and recognizable compound that contains hydrogen is water. Hydrogen is the H2 in H2O. Another common compound containing hydrogen is natural gas, or methane, which is CH4. Hydrogen can be created from water through a process called electrolysis, while it can be created from natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming. Since pure hydrogen gas is made from these sources and requires energy to create, it is often thought of as an energy carrier. To be used as an energy carrier or fuel, it must be in pure form. After it has been processed, it is typically stored in pressurized tanks. These fuel storage tanks are under considerable pressure that can range from 5,000 to 10,000 pounds per square inch. Such high pressures are required because of hydrogen's low volumetric energy density. However, hydrogen contains nearly three times the energy by mass when compared to conventional gasoline. When used as a fuel or energy carrier for transportation, it may be used via two methods. The first method is as a gaseous fuel used in an internal combustion engine, similar to gasoline. The second method is as the gaseous fuel for an onboard fuel cell. These vehicles typically use a proton exchange membrane, or PEM, type fuel cell. The onboard hydrogen gas is directed into the PEM, where it contacts a catalyst, which splits the bonded pair into two separate hydrogen protons and two electrons. The electrons pass through a circuit generating electricity that is used to power the vehicle's electric motors for vehicle propulsion. The hydrogen protons pass through the membrane. Once the electrons complete their journey, they rejoin with hydrogen protons along with oxygen to create water, H2O. Both methods can significantly reduce or eliminate localized pollution. The only emissions from an internal combustion engine using hydrogen are some oxides of nitrogen, water, and heat. When used in a fuel cell, the only local emissions are water and heat. Because of these benefits, hydrogen-fueled vehicles are being demonstrated in the mass transportation sector in order to reduce the polluting emissions associated with vehicles. Most of the focus of these demonstration projects has been with heavy-duty fuel cell electric vehicles, such as mass transit buses. This is the direction of most research and production vehicles using hydrogen. Not only are hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles being demonstrated in public transit, but some manufacturers are leasing hydrogen-powered passenger cars. These two are mainly fuel cell electric vehicles. These vehicles function much the same as all electric or battery electric vehicles. The less often used hydrogen vehicles with internal combustion engines function similar to conventional gasoline engines. The use of hydrogen in these vehicles has a broad range of benefits, including the betterment of human health and the environment, and benefits to the economy and national energy security. Compared with vehicles fueled by conventional gasoline or diesel, hydrogen vehicles produce nearly no harmful emissions. 
Emissions from conventional fuels cause ground layer ozone, which is a respiratory irritant. These emissions have also been found to be carcinogenic to humans, as well as negatively affecting the environment. Burning fossil fuels has contributed to environmental issues such as global warming, smog, and acid rain. Hydrogen vehicles produce nearly no local emissions. Hydrogen produced through electrolysis can use renewable electricity produced from solar, wind, and other renewable sources. Unlike conventional fuels that can dramatically affect the environment in case of a fuel spill, Hydrogen quickly evaporates and poses no environmental threat. Hydrogen can be produced entirely domestically, which can have multiple economic and energy security benefits. Currently, 95% of the hydrogen produced in the U.S. is from steam methane reforming. The methane, or natural gas, required for this process is domestically produced. The electricity needed for electrolysis of water is also domestically produced. Hydrogen's use in the transportation sector has also spurred significant research and development in fuel cells. This has led to the United States becoming a global leader in the fuel cell segment of the technology industry. We encourage you to learn more about alternative fuels and petroleum reduction technologies by visiting www.naftc.wvu.edu slash Clean Cities Learning Program.